Yo, what it do, guys? Now, this farming method in Destiny 2 is definitely one that I think you need to know. This video will cover the terminal overload public event and all the different ways you can utilize it to your advantages. Up now on the screen are a few things that you will benefit from doing this. So to begin, let's walk you through the process step by step. Step one, we'll be heading over to Neptune and looking for the terminal overload public event in one of these three areas. Now it does rotate on a daily reset time. So work with whatever you have today and any of these areas will work. Step two, launch the event and load in. Now, as we have loaded, pull out your ghost to inspect your patrol surroundings. There will always be three patrols within the areas, and we're looking for one specific one called the Heroic Patrol, which will always have a star next to it. Pause. Now, let's say that you do not find a Heroic Patrol available in the area. Let's now go ahead and pay attention with our eyes towards the Terminal Overload event. Has it begun? What stage is it currently at? If it's at least on stage two out of three, and maybe even near the final boss on stage two, personally, I would recommend sticking around and completing the event. This way, you will be helping them out with an extra player to get the terminal overload event completed, and you won't have to do as much work for it. But we'll discuss more on this later. However, if there was no heroic patrols and the terminal overload event isn't at a good progress, then we open up our map and simply relaunch the event. There was absolutely nothing to gain from this area and you're only taking risks by starting a terminal on your own and players may not even join you. So let's not do that, let's be efficient. Unpause. And look at that, we launched in and we see a heroic patrol. So let's get that started then, shall we? There could be two different patrols in Neomuna. One will ask you to get precision kills with a weapon. I recommend bringing a sniper or a scout to help with this. It should just be around 10 precision kills. And then once you've done with those 10 precision kills, you will go ahead and collect your loot. Now, as for the other heroic patrol, it will ask you to go to an area and clear out all of the enemies. That's not a problem. Once you're there, you clear a couple of small ads and a mini boss will spawn. Take them out and you will also go ahead and get your loot. So what is that loot that you ask? Well, there is a small chance that completing one of these heroic patrols, it will give you a red bordered weapon for pattern progress in any of the Neomuna Lightfall crafted weapons that you need progress for. This is one of the better ways to farm for these weapons, and even then, it will take you quite a bit of time to collect them all. Completing heroic patrols can also reward you with terminal overload keys, so this actually pairs hand in hand with what we're going to go ahead and do next. The terminal overload public event. So, we looked for the heroic patrols, and maybe we didn't find any, but we did find a terminal event ongoing, and it's almost completed, right? So let's go ahead and help these players to join in and finish off the event. As we progress through all of the stages, when we are finished, there will be two chests at the end. One requires a terminal overload key, rewarding you with some Neomuna strand weapons. This will be the only way to get these weapons, and these weapons are not craftable, so you will be farming for these. However, the other chest, when looted, will actually grant you weapon pattern experience, roughly around like 29% give or take. So before looting it, make sure to equip as many crafted weapons that you own in each slot to benefit the most from this. What we could do is, once we have looted both of these chests, we can look for the closest exit to the next area in Neomuna. Hop on your sparrow and leave the current area you are in and make it hasty. Keep driving until you will see, in the bottom left, it should say that you've entered a different area. As soon as you see that message, stop driving, turn back around, and drive back towards the chest. If you head back to the second chest, which gives experience, you can actually reloot it again, given another bundle of 29% weapon experience. Now, you can loot this chest up to a maximum of three times. So, leave one more time and repeat this method. Overall, this method of farming is a great way to benefit from multiple different things and extremely efficient if you sit down, pop on some music, switch your brain off and farm away reaping fast and easy rewards. Up on the screen is a quick step-by-step -step recap for those who need it broken down quickly and simply. But as always, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please go and hit that like button and share in the video with another person who may also benefit from this farm method. 
If you do have any questions, please go and hit up the comment section and either myself or someone else will get back to you as soon as we can. And as always, if you are new to the channel, stick around by subscribing for future videos. But until then, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.